the other thing that I wanted to bring up since we do have some time here <clears throat> is um in relation to this entire, you know, wish episode that we're doing now, we actually do have a comment from Spotify. <laughs> All right. So shout outs to Tanara Kuhn, right? So Tanara uh, is the one that put this comment down and they asked Bardock's wish and oh, oh, well, it's not really. So the question is, let me just say this first. Backtrack. What should we talk about next episode? I always put this at the at and uh, during all the uh, Spotify episodes, because you could do that. That's crazy. You could actually like respond to you know things and on Spotify. Bardock's wish and why you think he chose that instead of anything else. Like I know he didn't know if Planet Vegeta's plan destruction, but why not wish for the preservation of his family? So that's an easy one to answer. But Kai, do you want to like give your take first? Um. I don't really I don't have a good answer. I don't have a good answer for that, so I'm gonna let you go. Brandon? Mm. <laughs> you answer and then I might have like a follow if anything. Okay. So the reason why I mean this is this is pretty simple. Um the reason why he didn't just uh you know the reason why I feel like Bardock did not just wish for the preservation of his own family is because usually the very parental thing to do is to always just really put your all into your kids, right? Still, though, if it's a wish, like, come on. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like that would have been, that would have kind of had a selfish wish, low key, though. Oh, yeah, that's true. Uh, that is true. It would, it, would, it would be a selfish wish, low key. Uh, well, maybe, it's, maybe, how, maybe. it's how you word it's it. Already, it's already selfish enough that he chose his own family. He could have chosen hella families, but he didn't. He could have chosen his whole race. That's Could've true. Been. That's so, true. Yeah. I, I don't know. It's that's why that's why I said like I don't have a good answer because there's really no reason he couldn't have done that. Oh yeah, like especially now that you know you guys say it like that. Like there's dude, there's so many different angles you can look at it. Like wow, like like how come you know his sons was okay? How come that's not considered selfish? I totally get that. You know, I think for this was that I'm gonna I'm gonna say from this angle that i'm looking at it from is that bardock saw his sons as like the future like bardock is i guess from what we can deduct is all about you know his family more so his sons because they're his kin they're the ones that he you know he helped bring to life and you know and a lot of parents they have that kind of connection with their with their offspring you know what i'm saying like they you know there's an unconditional level of love there that is you know you don't you can't see it but you just feel it and bardock clearly had that with his own kid and it and this is something that you have to really look at how this arc played out because if you look if you look back at the chapters where bardock had moments of self-reflection and rem and reminding of him of his own family right because what happened when he when he saw kid granola when he saw granola's mama right what did that make him do that made him think back to his own family and that's why you know he looked out for them during that time because they reminded him of what he's got waiting for him back at home and so i think that taking that into consideration this dude is really about his kids just like how you know he saw how granola's mom was protecting her son he's all about trying to protect his own too so that's what i think um he he decided to just not just preserve his own family he decided to really make sure that like it doesn't matter what happens to me and you know his mom i want i don't want to make sure that our kids are good that's how I'm taking that, especially, you know, not knowing the inevitable eradication of the Saiyans that, you know, shortly thereafter took place. Like, he wouldn't have known about that. And honestly, I feel like even if he did know the kind of guy that Bardock is, I take it as he is the dude that would still just be about, you know, like trying to make sure that his sons were taken care of first before, like, you know, he was about the rest of his people. You know, 
that that's kind of like one of those unwritten rules that's just like you know take care of yourself before you can take care of anyone else type shit and in this case it was like i'm gonna easy i'm gonna make sure i take care of my sons you know before and, and i mean i mean look at it it's not like he wasn't gonna be about trying to protect his people at the end of the day like bardock's not a selective selfish dude go watch broly go watch the first fucking 15 minutes of that movie even when it was inevitable that they were all gonna die he was still out there trying to 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 to, to help with this oncoming death ball that was gonna destroy the whole fucking planet he still tried so that's my answer oh that's that good shit <laughs>